Well, let's get a fresh perspective into the political crisis in River State. And to give us this insight and perspective is Obi Undukwe. She is the publisher and editor-in-chief of The Beam newspaper, a River State-based uh, newspaper, and also the founder of Citizens Quest for Truth Initiative. Welcome to the program, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, um, talking about this um, crisis in uh, River State, it has... Um, festered or lingered for too long. Why is it so difficult or almost impossible for uh, political gladiators to settle their differences or bury the hatchet with a uh, particular focus on what is going on in River State? It's difficult because of power. Power intoxicates. Even the child who you think is humble mm -hmm. or naive, the moment he has power, he becomes... Um, a different person. So who is intoxicated in this um, scenario? Well, I may not really say um, someone is intoxicated, but it is the effects of power. Because the moment you become powerful, mm. you have a lot of people who surround you, who come to give you advice. They may not have been there initially, but it, they have their own interests. People don't play politics for the sake of just, in this country, for just for the sake of governance. People mm. play politics because they, be, they want to be part of the power brokers, mm. those in the corridors of power. There is mm. something they are targeting, there's something they want. And as much as you can control whoever has the power or affect whatever he does, it's, I mean, it's beneficial. So what you see is a power play. Um, the governor himself, who has not played politics before now, um, seems to be learning on the ropes. And in learning, there will be people who will want to, you know, guide him who will want to also be there to tell him, do this, don't do that. Forgetting that he started from somewhere. But he has worked closely with um, Yesom Wiki when he was governor. As a civil servant. He's been working, he worked under Odili, he worked under Amechi, and he worked under Wiki. But as a civil servant, core civil servant, we didn't have reports of him being involved in politics, particularly in his LGA. So that means uh, we can say he's a good administrator, but not a good politician. Well, we are yet to see his, uh, the strength you know, he has in administration. Because for me, I've not seen anything done yet because of the fight. Mm. And then probably is also another way of also uh, trying to cover up. We are, we are waiting to see that because mm. governance has not started mm. in River State. Mm. That is the truth of and the matter. And the question is, who is in charge in River State? We just had um, Yesom Wike, Minister of the, of the RCT, say that, you know, that time will come and we will know who is in charge. And the governor is saying that what they want is this red pen, which, of course, he uses to uh, approve contracts and also grant um, some other kind of um, approvals and all of that in the state. So the question is, who is in charge? Is it the Yesom Wike camp or... The similar year, if Fubara. you look at if you look at uh, the public perception, it looks like the governor is having a lot of um, sympathy, uh, it, both from River State and outside. But if you look at politics, the way it is actually played, particularly in the Niger Delta and in River State, it is the man who is able to enthrone people that usually has the power. Yes, the red pen. The red pen is for contracts. The red pen is for approvals. But I can tell you that it's, you, can, you may have the red pen and you won't be able to use it. Are you getting what I'm saying? The red pen was even handed over to him by Wiki at the grand finale of the PDP campaign in Opobo. I remember where Kip, uh, Wiki brought out the red pen and said, once you have this red pen, nobody can take it from you and nobody can do anything. Yes, the governor has the red pen. But I can tell you that Having not been involved in politics, he ought to probably have waited for a while to learn and understand the intricacies and the power play. Because now the challenge is that he has moved away from the man, like you said, who he's worked with for some time, yeah. and then moved to people that probably are new people whose interests may be different. Yeah. I'm not saying that the minister who is the leader does not have his interest. Man, he might, his interest might be that he wants uh, to consolidate on the gains. If, I mean, uh, he recorded when he was governor. But again, beyond governance, that's where we fail it. Beyond governance, there's what you call politics. Politics is actually the power play that brings governance into play. So if you don't know how to play the game, you may be governor. We've seen governors who were there and they were frustrated by powers that be at the top. And you know what it means? I'm not saying that Wiki is going to frustrate him, but I think that it's something that they could have managed onto it 
for a time when the governor has been able to create even his own structure. But is it is it ideal to have um, like a, a godfather figure or some some someone someone like when you a, were born, a kingmaker yes. who tries to control the levels when of you, power when you, outside of office? When you were born, you had a godfather. I'm sure you're a Christian. I don't know about other religions, but we're I talking know. about in politics no, and I'm governance. Coming. I'm system. coming. There's always God power. Um, I mean, Godfather. The fact remains that before you go into the game, except you have the money to run and have the connections, there are some governors, a few of them, who didn't really work. Um, I mean, didn't um, um, emerge with God Godfathers. But in this case, it's totally different. Now, the Godfather and the Godson, there were times they had conversations without the people, all of us, who are commenting, who are getting involved. And we were not there to know the things they discussed. The agree disagreement they had is basically because somebody is not keeping to the agreement. And if you agreed to do something, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's up to you to, I mean, to live up to your um, uh, integrity. But here, if whatever they agreed upon is not in the interest of the state, development of the state. I think that the proper thing to have done is to sit down and say, sir, we can't do this. If we do this, it will affect what we intend to achieve. But I think the problem here is not even the governors, it's the policies. And you can't rule out gov Godfather. It's not only River State. It's happening in Benue. It's happening in some other places. It's been happening before, except very few persons who rode to power without a Godfather per se. The likes of maybe Alex Oti, of uh, Abia State, yeah. uh, Mechi, you know, when he came, there was issue between him and Odili, so it was like he got there on his own. There was really no godfather. Uh, yeah. And then we probably have some others too. So in that case, that is where you can rule out the, um, the, the power of the godfather. Mm. You can't rule it out in our politics yeah. as it presently stands. Mm. A lot of people are speaking against the godfatherism thing, but until you get involved, I have contested the election before. I didn't have a godfather. I was the most popular candidate. And did you win? And I didn't win. Because Be you didn't have a godfather. Because I didn't have a godfather. Those who had the godfathers, the cabal, they decided who to go there, even when the figures are clearly showing. In fact, at some point, one of the godfathers went to campaign at night and was saying, she is the best, but she's not our choice because she won't let us do the things we want to do. So that means you agree that, well, godfather, godfatherism, in Nigerian politics is a problem. It's like the bane of our political it's, development. It's not just the problem. Do you have the funds to run? That's number one. But should it be because about the money? Because, election, because even with the um, new electoral act now, there is um, a deliberate effort to de-emphasize money politics. How do you play money politics? When you're going to buy the form, the form is how much? Most of these, um, the political parties, how much do they pack their forms? We saw it happen in the last election. So how many, if I, even if I'm competent and I know I am, I don't have the funds to do that. So I will probably go uh, begging or somebody is going to introduce me to somebody who's mm -hmm. going to fund it. Yeah. And that's where the challenges come because there will be conditions, terms and conditions apply just like when you go to the bank to mm. take a loan. Okay, let's um, go back um, to the reverse issue now before we um, deviate too far. How will you describe... Um, the role of the reverse elders and some other stakeholders who seem to be controlling um, the orchestra, as uh, you may want to put it now, because in one breath they called on President Bola Tinubu to intervene and call um, Yeson Wike to order. And after President Bola Tinubu's intervention, we have seen some of them come out to say, or uh, to even criticize his, his intervention, That's saying right. um, the peace deal is um, not valid, is null and void, and should not be respected. Well, how would you describe their role in all of this? Would you well, say they're stoking um, the flame of um, this whole Well, conflict? their expectations were cut short. It's they, they, they called on the president to intervene. What were the expectations? Probably they expected that the president would have asked we can stay in Abuja, leave reverse politics alone. The president is a politician, a strong one at that. He understands these things. He knows power play. He knows the role of, I mean, godfathers. He knows when a governor who has power decides to deviate from the original whatever. I'm not saying that the agreement is, um, uh, is not in the best interest of the state. I don't know the details. But the truth of the matter is that the president has this experience. Yeah. Now, most of the people you call godfathers, I think it's, yes, by age, we should call them, I mean, sorry, um, elders by age. But the question is, how many of them have been involved in this business? Yeah. 
Some of them were actually their former this and former that. And for several years or decades, we've not heard anything from them. They've not been involved. There have been issues in the state, particularly when uh, uh, the eight years of Mike and he had a running battle with APC under Amechi. We also had cases where people also died for, I mean, supporting a particular party. Mm -hmm. Where were the elders? They didn't speak. And then suddenly you wake up and you have a voice. You don't think that you are going to, to get this thing done right because the person you're trying to advise is going to be looking at you to say, look, you don't know what we are doing. Mm -hmm. you've, you are a cake. You don't know. I mean, you've not been part of it. And some who are part of it are going there because there's a vendetta. Mm -hmm. Some are not happy. Some are not happy with Wiki mm -hmm. because probably um, it didn't favor them when he was there. And some of his policies also didn't suit them. You know, they were opposed to it, but they didn't have a voice. They lost their voice because somehow they felt that Wiki was too powerful to be challenged. The people of um, River State now, because they are the ones in the center of um, yes. all of this, and they are the ones who um, will bear the bronze, you know. Yeah. What are they saying? What, 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 what you, as um, a publisher, yeah. and somebody who is um, involved with people at the grassroots, you all felt their pulse. What, what, what is it? Well, the truth of the matter is that do they understand the issues? They may understand, they may not understand, but let me tell you what, what the truth about politics in Niger Delta and with uh, River State as a case study. They don't have any business coming to Abuja to look for any minister. Even if you make one of theirs a president, they won't come. The uh, government house is closer to them. It's easier for them to approach the governor and get whatever they want. So they have no business with the man who has moved on to Abuja. That's the major challenge. So naturally, you will see that the people will be on the side of the man who is with them in town. And that's the governor. Mm. Because the government at River State has not enough money to sustain everybody to do what they want to do. So naturally, you see that a higher percentage will be rooting for the governor and will mm. want to support the governor. They don't know the intricacies because, first of all, what have they succeeded in doing? The governor's team has been able to give the impression that Wiki wants to emasculate the governor and take whatever. So it's like we are fighting back. We are fighting to hold back the treasury from Wiki. You shouldn't take that. You know, but we don't know. The governor has not also said so, but that's the um, impression out there. So very many of them are tilting towards the governor because, and then we are not hearing much from the Wiki group. We have not, in fact, personally, uh, I found it difficult. Very many of them I tried to call to reach out to find out what's going on are not um, ready to speak. I think that's this um, uh, instruction or whatever that, I mean, or whether it's a strategy. But you know, uh, maybe because um, Yesom Wike is uh, an appointee, not an elected government exactly. official. Exactly. He's so an he appointee. has to respect He's the an federal aide. cabinet. Exactly. Yeah. He's an aide of the president and the president has intervened. Mm -hmm. And to the best of my knowledge, I think that what the president did was um, to make sure that there is peace. Because let me tell you the truth. I've known Wike right from when he was local government chairman. He's a fighter. If he wants to fight, he will fight with whatever he has, and fighting with somebody who probably does not also know the intricacies of this game. But don't rule it out. The man has also been able to acquire some leaders, some elders, and some politicians you know, on his side. And so they are probably teaching him how to do this thing. Mm. Because the man that is fighting is a familiar, I won't say enemy, mm. a familiar foe. Okay, but you know, um, when the president intervened, they all signed um, a particular um, document yeah. uh, promising to keep um, certain deals, which some of which are um, representing the budget to the State House of yeah. Assembly, paying um, the withheld allowances of um, mm. these lawmakers, and all of those who resign from the cabinet of the state governor should uh, be reappointed and all of that. In all of these um, agreements reached, or agreements signed, mm. which of these agreements have been kept so far and which is yet to be kept? Okay, so far, the governor has paid the allowances of the um, lawmakers, the 27 of them, mm. and I think all of them, not just the 27 of them. Mm. We've also seen that um, some of the cases have been withdrawn mm. uh, from court. We've also seen, um, um, well, I think the, 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 the one that he's still yet to implement is to return um, the budget. The, yeah, they present the budget mm. to the assembly that he now has accepted mm. that is the valid one. Mm. Now he's, Do you think he will do that? He has to do that. Why? He has to do that. Don't forget that the man who was on his side as speaker, who went to court, has withdrawn the matter from court. So what it means is that 
Abnisho, these people are recognized. Martin Amehula is recognized as a speaker. Mm. Whether it's for the sake of peace or not, but legally speaking, as long as you've withdrawn the matter and you're not filing again, it means that, and you have even resigned your membership of the assembly. Resigning means he no longer has the onus to challenge the constitution of that assembly. Mm. So what it means is that you were never there. Mm. So the governor has to represent it to this assembly, one, for the sake of peace, two, legally speaking, because that's the one that is recognized mm. by law. Now, if um, then the commissioners, he's not, he has not called them, but the information I was able to pick up, because the people are not really speaking up. They are finding it difficult to okay, let The commissioners up. have not been called back. They have not been called back, but I understand that they were asked to um, apply. And nobody will do that. People don't apply to be appointed as commissioner. If they actually, he wants to do the right you thing. Know, part of the agreement was also that their names will be submitted to the state assembly, assembly. for screening the, and confirmation. Exactly, but I am giving you information that the letters written to them was that they should um, reapply as commissioner and state reasons why they should be brought back. Mm. But that's, I think that's just part of it. If the governor, considering what he's done and what he thinks is the best approach, he will probably have to um, get uh, represent the budget. No, before the budget, he has to, I mean, reappoint them, although he has a number of them who are still with him, mm -hmm. and then represent the budget. So we are looking at that to see how he's going to do that. If he's actually sincere in uh, maintaining, I um, mean, the peace deal, the resolutions he signed to, he should be able to do that in earnest. All right, and uh, we're out of time. But lastly now, how do you think all of this can be resolved if indeed there is that uh, sincerity on both parts of political will to, 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 I, to sort it out. It's only unfortunate that there's no morality in our politics, even when people claim to be good Christians, good Muslims, and good traditional worshippers. You know, otherwise, the proper thing to do is for the governor to go and pay a visit to the minister, and both of them sit down outside everybody, outside the cameras. Or for the minister to pay a visit to the governor. Or it does not matter the who It doesn't who. matter because even the governor has acknowledged the fact that the minister is his boss, his ogre. That's what he says. And humility, can, you can do that even as governor. And if he doesn't accept or if he doesn't welcome you, that's when you can now sit down. Now, mm. like you asked, the governor, the minister himself can also pay a visit. But there should be something to show that his, the governor will be willing. Because don't forget, the, the governor is the one who has the immunity, has all the mm. official paraphernalia of office, yeah. not the minister this time mm -hmm. around. The minister's um, uh, function ends in Abuja, no, as, it, as it were. So he, he, if the governor does, I mean, the minister does not get that um, signal that the governor will be willing to mm. see him, then, but like I said, except the two of them sit down, they know where they started. The people who are talking, we're not part of it. We are talking constitution, constitution. Peace deal is also part of the constitution. In fact, our constitution is centered on peace, unity, yeah. and development. So I don't know why anybody will be, uh, the const we're talking about the constitution as if it does not recognize peace. All right, and thank you so much, thank Obi you. Undukwe, thank publisher, you. editor-in-chief, The Beam newspaper. Well, that'll be all for this interview as the people of Rivers continue their quest for peace. That is our package on the program this week. You can see this episode again on TVC News' YouTube channel. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. I am Femi Akonde.